Dear beloved in Christ, it's a great joy for me to invite you all for the virtual carol singing of 2020 jointly organized by the United Evangelical Lutheran Churches in India and the Gurukul Lutheran Theological College and Research Institute. The theme for this virtual carol singing is Breathe the Breath of God. Let us in God enjoy this evening and this great program of carol singing. Let us pray. Dear Lord our God, we praise you and thank you for who you are for this your creation, especially for us, your children. Thank you Lord that in your love you have met us in the flesh. God word who was active in the creation became flesh and dwelt among us and your glory was revealed fully to us in your son Jesus Christ. Lord we thank you for this wonderful program, a joyful program of singing carol and celebrating your first coming among us. Lord we ask your presence to be with us and bless us in this program. May everything and all the things that we do may bring honor and glory to your name and peace on earth and goodwill among us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is indeed my pleasure to bring greetings on behalf of the United Evangelical Lutheran Churches in India, the Indian Lutheran Communion, to all the viewers of this very important Christmas program. And it has been a tradition for Gurukul Lutheran Theological College and Research Institute and to the United Evangelical Lutheran Churches of India to convene the Christmas carols inviting ecumenical churches in Chennai and the ecumenical institutions. It brings back a fresh memory as a student of uh, Gurukul Lutheran Theological College and Research Institute where I studied of this important event during the Christmas. And this is definitely one signature program of this organization that used to be conducted during the Advent. And it has been so joyful all these years. 2020 has become a special year for all of us, but many things have changed. And accordingly, this year we could not also conduct this program in our Sigin Balk Auditorium, inviting all these hundreds of people. However, in this COVID-19 context, there came many new possibilities. An online platform is one important possibility that has been used by all the churches. And this has promoted a kind of a new spirituality. Uh, this helps us to sustain uh, the spirituality in the churches. And I'm very happy to see such a coincidence or interesting to note that this year we in Gurukul have come up with a theme for this year being Breathe the Breath of God. And uh, I'm kind of uh, reminded of three passages I would like to just only read, not exegete. In Genesis chapter 2, Verse 7 says, Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. The second portion I would like to read is from Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 4. Then he said to me, Prophecy to this bones and say to them dry bones hear the word of the Lord this is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones I will make breath enter you and you will come to life I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin 
I will put breath in you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. The third portion is from the Apostle of John chapter 20 verse 22 and with that he breathed on them and said receive the Holy Spirit. Breath is a special gift from God and this is what helps us understand that we have life and that we are living. And we take the breath for granted. We almost don't care about it until we get suffocated. COVID-19, the coronavirus, causes suffocation. People are suffocated. The nature is suffocated. And the life is suffocated. Only when the suffocation happens, we are conscious about the breathing, rather breathlessness. Interestingly, in our tradition in India, we have a rich tradition for a breathing exercise. And our elders always have said, every day to kind of repeat this exercise, consciously help us. We are finding ways and means to get out of this virus and vaccines are being introduced. The best thing that could keep us away from the virus is kind of our own immunity that we could create and certainly this breathing exercises is very helpful in this process and we also have a rich tradition for meditation and one of the important things that happen in the meditation if you are into meditating and if you know meditation it is for a moment at least, that we focus on our breath. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhaling and exhaling. Conscious breathing. We breathe out carbon dioxide, which is not good for the humankind. And that which is being taken by the trees and plants. And we breathe in oxygen that is being generated by this nature. We breathe out carbon dioxide, we breathe in oxygen. And oxygen is life for us. When we focus on this theme, breathe the breath of God, in the meditation, we can focus on breathing Christ and breathe out the love and let this be bring hopes in this 2020 Christmas. We breathe in Christ and breathe out love. And once again, in the context of COVID-19, the birth of Christ, whom we need to breathe in, be the hope. Once again, wishing you all a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Reverend Joshua Peter, Executive Secretary, ULCI, staff members in UELCI, faculty members, staffs, students, families, and friends. Greetings 
the name of our lord jesus christ even when there is despair all around the world what is distinct unique with christianity we are hopeful we speak words of hope we sing words of hope we spread message of hope and this is christmas time god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son let us celebrate the birth of our lord jesus christ i am very happy to bring greetings on the occasion of the ecumenical carols jointly organized by the ulci and gurukul i appreciate the organizers of the carol service i greet all the churches who are participating in this service may i remind a beautiful verse in bible that is found in isaiah chapter 9 verse 2 the people who walk in darkness will see a great light those who live in a dark land the light will shine upon them may the christmas bring light may the new year be a blessed new year thank you very much
ಸಂದಿಗಳೆ
joy to a love. Maybe long the need, a low head's what the love her up here.
Beloved in Christ, I greet you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Christmas is how God the Father sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, into this world to be born lowly in a stable as the Savior of humankind. He is the only hope of the world, for He is our Emmanuel, which means God is with us, and He longs to reveal Himself in us. And therefore, let us share the warmth of Christ's agape love during this Christmas as we sing Noel. May this Christmas season bring hope, peace and happiness throughout the world during this pandemic situation. May God bless us all.
In the name of parent, child, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, Amen. Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is indeed a great privilege to share our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ's birthday, the joy with our ecumenical carol service, jointly presented United Evangelical Churches in India and the Gurukal Lutheran Theological College and Research Institute, Chennai, Virtual 2020. I would like to thank our Almighty God and special thanks to our ULCA Executive Secretary, Reverend A. Joshua Peter, our College Principal, Reverend Dr. John Samuel, our College Chaplain, Reverend Dr. Daniel Kriberaj, our College Register, Reverend Nagya Samuel, the Ecumenical Carol Committee members, Reverend Dr. M. Peter Singh, Reverend Lalji Veda, Dr. Aravind J. Kumar, Reverend Jogana, Reverend Paul Kanagraj, Reverend John Pradeep Kumar, Reverend Samuel Logan Ratnaraj, Reverend Jeevaraj, Reverend, Reverend Lydia Lada, Mr. Isaac Yesdas, and also those who sent their Christmas carol songs, pre-recorded videos, the churches, the organization, with their hard effort, thank you all. Here I would like to conclude on Christmas Day, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. stood before his Christian congregation at the Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta and gave a sermon in 1967 that was his final Christmas sermon. The title goes, Peace on Earth. This Christmas season finds as a rather bewildered human race. We have neither peace within nor peace without. Everywhere paralyzing fierce horror people by day and haunt them by night. Our world is sick with war and sickness. Everywhere we turn we see its ominous possibilities and yet my friends, the Christmas hope for peace and goodwill forward, all human beings being can no longer be dismissed as a kind of pious dream of some utopia. He concluded like this, I have a dream that one day human being will rise up 
and come to set that they are made to live together as brothers and sisters. Thank you all. Wish you a happy Christmas and happy new year 2021. Thank you. Let us all look to the Lord and pray. Our gracious heavenly God, we thank you and praise you for the beautiful time of celebrating our Lord Jesus Christ who came to us in the form of human being. Thank you, Lord. You took the form of human, lived with us, struggled with us for the people, those who struggle in this world. Even at this time of COVID-19, Lord, you are identifying with the people, those who are struggling for their survival, for their life, and for their existence in this world. Lord, you are being with them and helping them to grow in you and live for your glory. Thank you, Lord, for the time of celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who came to us to bless us and lead us to the eternity. Lord, even during this time of pandemic, Lord, you helped us to taste the time of joy, happiness, peace, love in this Christmas season. Lord, at this time, we pray for the people, those who live without peace, the people, those who live without shelter, the people struggle for their own livelihood. Lord, you be with them and bless them and give them all the grace and mercies so that they may overcome all the struggles and glorify your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for helping us to celebrate the ecumenical carol service 2020 in this year as well. Lord, we thank for the visionaries of this ecumenical carol service. We pray for the ULCA Executive Secretary, Reverend Joshua Peter Aya, and we also pray for all the member churches of ULCI. Bless all their ministries, be with them and help them so that they may lead the people of God for your glory. And also, we also pray for Gurukul Principal, Reverend Dr. John Samuel. Thank you, Lord, for his leadership to lead this great institution for your glory. And we also pray for all the faculty members who contribute for the extension of your glory in this institution. Lord, as a people of God called out community, you helped us to have this ecumenical carol service. Lord, we pray for all the participants who actively participated in this program. Lord, you bless them, be with them, help them to grow in you so that they may be a channel of blessings. Lord, you be with us and bless us. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Let us all receive the benediction. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who became a human, to make the human in the image of divine. The love of God Almighty, who sent our Lord Jesus Christ for us, and the ever-abiding presence of the Holy Spirit, be with us in this season of Christmas, 
and in the new year 2021. Amen. God bless you all.